Hey, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. We're about to get a foot of snow and it's going to be icy rain first. So I'm trying to do a ton of laundry at once. I have a friend coming this weekend and I'm redoing the closet. So come along with me, watch me rearrange. This is especially for people who don't have a lot of storage space. I've got one closet in my whole apartment. Thankfully it has two bars, one behind the other, but that makes it for tough access. The closet is really cold and it's dark, so I bought some lights. I also am updating about the no-buy where, remember how my external closet that you put together broke in the video I'll link here? Well, I thought I was gonna use just my new closet um, idea with the single closet I have plus the lights, then I would be able to um, move all my stuff in there. I'm not sure it's gonna fit and I was feeling discouraged. So I ended up looking on Facebook Marketplace. I bought a standing closet for $10 from someone I know. It's not as big, it's probably like half as wide as my one was before. And so I'm gonna put it together As far as organizing the real closet goes, it's important for me to remember that I'm gonna put the things that I'm not wearing, not fitting in, or rotating away from in the back. This bar is in the back of the closet. There's a slanted ceiling, so it, they're harder to get to, they're harder to see. I have tons of fancy clothes that I'll be putting back there, and also any of the clothes that I would normally wear to work, but they are too small right now, all of that stuff can go back there and I'll feel better because I don't need to look at it. I think with the external closet, the new smaller one, I'll probably put more day-to-day -day outfits that I hang up there. But I could be totally wrong. Once I finally install these stick-on lights that are motion sensors, maybe that will really make it easy to use the real closet I don't know. <sighs> it's so much to think about because when you have a small amount of space, you have to strategically move things around and it kind of looks like everything blew up for a little bit until you can move things and take things out in order to put things where those original things were. There's no empty space. There's no space for reorganizing except everywhere all over the apartment. Dress clothes and work clothes that aren't fitting or they're for spring or summer. These are like wedding dresses if I was a guest. These are coats that I'm not wearing right now. Then I have coats that I will wear and some really dressy parts for work but I don't need them on the main rack. I still have all this space in the middle so I will figure out what I'm doing with that. Okay, it's a couple hours later and I am on laundry load number three and I hope I have the energy to keep going. I have a lot of work ahead of me, which is probably why it's taken me so long to get it together. I think I need Ian's help to take down the old closet. So I might put the new closet together in a different spot and hang up some stuff to get it off the bed. If you are interested in the external closet but you don't want the clothes rack or garment rack, I did find some things online that were pretty cool and they're basically those metal bars that stick off from the wall and the bar can either flap down and hold different um, hangers in separate sections because it has little knobs that separate the hangers or they're triangles that come off the wall and that just braces them to make it it's stronger to hold more hangers. I almost bought some of those and then I decided it was actually still cheaper to get this used one off of Facebook Marketplace 
and I'm definitely pro secondhand and not buying new things if I don't have to. First of all, it saves money, but it's more important, secondly, for the planet and just not contributing to all this plastic and giving old plastic a new life. I'm actually gonna be headed to the transfer station right now, which you might call the dump. It's where Vermont accepts zero sort recycling and trash. You only separate glass from the recycling and corrugated cardboard. It really frustrates me when people don't bother to recycle. It's like, this is just the right thing to do. If you are a human on this planet, you should care about the earth. And unfortunately, the times that I've encountered people refusing to recycle, those are people with a lot of privilege and they have tons of ability to recycle, um, to pay for their access to the dump or have a vehicle to put their stuff in. They have time or even someone to pick it up for them. I cannot understand how you can think that you're a good person and you don't do these basic things that you know are good and you know you're supposed to do. Running errands was stressful. I live in a ski town and the lines are so long. There are two cashiers and that means that you're like the eighth person in one line at the grocery store. Fine, whatever, I did it. And I did it before the weekend, it's Thursday, where all the people from out of town buy all the groceries and the shelves are literally bare. I got vegetable broth, which I couldn't get for like a month now. Not that I checked all the time, but every time I went to the store, it was sold out. I don't know, I just, my, you know when your hands are full and you're like spilling stuff and trying to hold on to things and it's raining and this is a pointless, pointless conversation. Little rant, but I thought the tea would calm me down and I think it will, but then I decided to film the tea as part of this little closet rearranging vlog and I can't stir the tea when I'm holding the camera blah 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 you get it I'll get back to the closet in a minute this is like when people get so tired and stressed not usually on camera. There are so many moments where you're just thinking and there's nothing exciting to see so it's probably the most boring video at the same time. I don't know. If it's if you don't feel the way I feel, you could probably laugh. It is the next day and progress has been made. The old closet that's broken is down and I'm feeling really good. It's been a lot of work. When you're choosing what to put away, you gotta be realistic with yourself. Have you been wearing it lately? Does it fit? Is it comfortable? Do you even vibe with it? Like some of the things that I still have, I think, oh, I like this, I think it's cool. I'm not wearing it a lot lately, so I'll just put it away. It's not that I wanna get rid of it yet. Maybe someday I'll be bored of it and maybe it's a sign I am, but I'm just gonna wait and see. And so I just get honest, put that in the back, put that away, put it in storage. Then the important stuff is in the front.
So this little rack is the main closet besides the clothes in the dresser. I do prefer to hang things up, but since I have this great big dresser, I'm using it to the best of my ability. This stuff is things I would wear any day at work or at home. A dress, two pairs of dress pants, one skirt, tank, short sleeves that I don't want to wrinkle, long sleeves, collared shirts, long, long, more sweatery but button up things, and then some jackets that I would wear as part of my outfit, not outside in this type of weather. I know you want to move things, you want to make the change, but it's important to make a plan first, empty the things out, sort things in piles of where they're gonna go, clean whatever surface it is before you put stuff back, and then put it back in its place, and then finish the job so you don't have piles of things out for weeks because you got tired and you didn't finish, and now the rest is just sitting there. It definitely helps to do something you like at the same time. If you can have a friend come over and keep you company, they don't have to help, you can just talk. Also, you know, jam out to your favorite songs or listen to an audiobook. I've done all that too because I've had time for it all. In case you notice, I changed my necklace. Yes, the other one was making the collar flip up all the time because the necklace was way heavier than this shirt. Sometimes when you rearrange your closet, you also have to find new storage for places that's not gonna go in the closet. So I'm feeling good about the closet. It always feels good to be organized. I'm still struggling with feeling like I have too much stuff, but I can't decide what to get rid of. If you have a small closet or a small apartment like me, let me know and tell me how you've organized. Decluttering is always beneficial to our brains and just not being able to see a bunch of things around um, helps decrease anxiety. And I'm just hoping that that all makes me feel better. And it is a long process of getting rid of things and donating things and consuming less. So just keep going wherever stage, whatever stage you're at. Thank you for watching. Peace.